So I'm here in The Hague at the water couch with the, um, the fabulous Chris Amsinger. Chris, can you, can you just hold your badge up a little bit so I can just uh, film your name? So Chris, walking for water. Yes. You've been busy, haven't you, this week? It's been great. It's a very fun, uh, high pace that we've been So, tell me, what, tell me what's been happening. Well, we've had a, a, a lot of extra work this year because we have the unique opportunity to be in the spotlight uh, at the final plenary session of UN World Water Day. Yeah. So, so tell, for people who don't know what World uh, sort of Walking for Water is, give me a quick 30-second summary. I'll give you my summary. elevator uh, yeah. pitch. Walking for Water is an awareness and fundraising campaign for children aged 10 years and older. They learn about global water issues and uh, then they are sponsored by friends and family to walk six kilometers with six liters of water in a backpack. And the money that they raise can go to a project of their choice on the ACFO internet platform where they can see what happens with their money. Great. So, uh, yeah, so what else have you been focused on this week? So you've had a load of walks already, yeah? Yeah, yesterday was a huge day in the Netherlands. That's where the campaign has begun. Uh, we have in total 28,000 children from about 500 schools walking all across the country. Most of that happened yesterday, but there are some walks also on uh, tomorrow on World Water Day itself. So uh, it's been a, it's been a great uh, busy week. So there's some strange stuff happening tomorrow, isn't there? Yes. Can you give us a bit of an idea? Yeah, we're going to use uh, some kid power. We figure that the uh, adults here will have had enough of talking and listening to each other and that uh, the voice of children will be a, a refreshing change. And yeah, because there's a lot, a lot of people in suits here, aren't there? Yeah, lots of suits, <laughs> lots of pinstripes. <laughs> <laughs> we knew that was coming. So this is the... Um, you've been... You've been involved with Walking for Water a few, for a few years now. What, yeah. are, what are your pieces of advice to people around the world trying to organize this kind of event, you know, a walk with schools and uh, kids? Start early play and, do, and start small uh, and learn your lessons along the way. We, pro, we provide a lot of advice on how to organize walks. There are manuals for schools and support organizations that want, want to coordinate a number of schools together for walks. Uh, that's a, those are a couple of the things and it's teachers that you need to connect with because when you've inspired teachers that uh, to incorporate this activity next to their curriculum that addresses water whether or not it's science or health or social studies uh, when teachers think yes then then the walks happen yeah, great. Well, great to see you, and congratulations and you. for everything up to now. And uh, let's uh, lucky. Can forward I just to... tell you one more thing? What oh, our yeah. slogan is: yeah. We're going to tell uh, the whole world not to just talk the talk, but to take the walk. Fantastic. Thanks, Chris. Thanks. Bye.